I'm fantastic. If I'm covered in slime, it's because I just made slime. Mm. Yo, yo. I'm making today a giant marshmallow cupcake, you guys. By the way, side note, I know that I mentioned in every video, but I'm st I still have a cold, so if you notice that, that's why I have a cold. <laughs> like I said, I'm making a giant marshmallow cupcake. What it's really gonna be, it's hard to explain. It's gonna be like a cupcake, but also a huge marshmallow and also filled with marshmallow. It's just a lot to process and a lot to say, so just, Stay tuned, see how I make it, see me eat it. It's gonna be iconic and incredible and delicious. I just hope it all works out because <laughs> I've never done this before, so we'll see. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato and turn on those notifications. Y'all hit that little bell icon. This kind of looks like marshmallow actually, but it's not, it's not edible, don't eat this. It's fluffy slime. <laughs> okay, let's go make this giant marshmallow cupcake. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna add some sugar into a bowl. <laughs> This much, and don't worry, I know I'm sick and I'm cooking, but no one else is gonna eat this. I'm, I'm probably gonna eat this within a few days. Right now I'm making the base of our cupcake, the more cakey part, but I'm really excited for the marshmallow part. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I got my sugar in there, and now I'm going to go and soften some butter. I'm just gonna add this to my sugar, perfect. So I'm just gonna cream the butter and the sugar together until it's a nice consistency. And if my boogers fall into it, it will make it even creamier. Perfect, so now I'm just gonna add some milk. That's good. I'm gonna add some eggs. Chicken, five eggs, eggs. <laughs> What does this cave bug? My British accent sounds so legit. I'm also going to add some flavoring. Make it bright and bitty fair like my booty. Like my butt crack. <laughs> oh my god, these boogers will not stop dripping. I think that I'm gonna make the base of my cupcake blue. I think it's gonna be really pretty with the marshmallows. So I'm gonna add some blue food coloring. And what kind of flavoring should I add to this? It can be any flavor. I'm trying to pick right now. Maybe watermelon. I know that like that's super random, but I just I want my cupcake base to have a flavor and I like watermelon, so I'm choosing it. I don't care. I don't care what you think about me. Here's a little bit of watermelon flavoring. Ooh, blue watermelon. Never heard of that. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my god, I love this color. And it smells so good, it smells like a strong watermelon candy. Okay, this is super lumpy and disgusting. Um, now I'm gonna add a few more things. I'm going to add some baking powder. I still don't know what exactly baking powder is. Like, why does it make things rise? I was gonna mix that in. I'm so out of it right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does anyone have some tampons for my nose? And now just <laughs> go out and lay me a flower. I'm just gonna mix this in completely and this should make it into a complete cake batter. Okay, our cake batter is completely mixed. It looks amazing. I love the color and it smells like watermelon. I don't know how I can smell that because right now my nose is so stuffed up and running. But I can smell it. It must be strong. I'm gonna get my cupcake pan. I have this huge cupcake pan. It was like in storage and it was like really crusty and dirty. So I washed this part because I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna use this part <laughs> because I have other plans for the marshmallows you will see. First, Step Pamela, of course. This is such a deep pan that I'm really worried it'll get stuck. So I'm really gonna Pamela the hell out of this, y'all. Perfect. <coughs> oh my god. Now I'm just gonna start plopping in my cake batter. The big fat crack. But it ain't in the earth. My anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. Sparky pop it, anus drop it, and Okay, so now that all my batters and I'm just gonna kinda like spread it out because this is a very thick batter, so it isn't really gonna like fall into place until it's in the oven. So just spreading it out. Perfect. I'm gonna give it a few bangs onto the table to get any air bubbles out. Yes, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it. And now I'm gonna pop it into the oven until it's completely cooked. While this cooks, I'm gonna work on the marshmallow. Marshmallow tops. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, so I got these giant jumbo marshmallows. They're huge. And the first thing that I wanna do is turn them pink because I have a vision. And so I'm going to dye my marshmallows before doing anything to them. So I'm gonna get a little container, fill it up with some water. Okay. 
just like this. There's something floating in it. Oh, wait, there's actually a lot of things floating in it. What is all that? Wait, let me get new water. <laughs> Okay, all clean. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add some beautiful pink food coloring to the water. I'm gonna add a lot because I want these marshmallows to be bright. So clumpy. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend it up with one of these little whisk thingies. This actually goes into one of those little machine thingies, but I'm just gonna use it as a whisk like this. Ooh, that is so bright. Okay, perfect. So we have some gorgeous dyed water. And one by one, I'm just gonna literally dunk oh that's so pretty i'm gonna dunk in my marshmallows into the water and they turn pink kind of well i don't know is, is it gonna stick should i add more food coloring i don't know it's pink enough you know what i'm gonna add more food coloring why not oh yes that is brighter that is definitely brighter perfect i'm gonna put it onto the paper towel just like that and it'll just kind of dry there with the pink on it so hopefully it'll just like soak that in a little bit Perfect, so I have a big plate full of pink marshmallows here. I'm gonna let them sit here for like 10 minutes and let them dry. Y'all, <laughs> what just happened? Is my gay showing? I look like I just gave like a flower, like an anus exam. Okay, so now is the fun part. I have a gross ass baking sheet and I've got a big ass piece of parchment paper. Now this part is needed because marshmallows are so sticky that without the parchment paper, I don't think this would even work. So just in case, I'm also gonna add a little bit of Pamela on top. In my face. And I'm gonna make a marshmallow tower to be the topping of the cupcake, like basically like the frosting of the cupcake. So what I'm gonna do is just take all my little pink marshmallows and kind of put them in a design so that they're all really, really close to each other and touching, right? Like this. And now I'm just gonna start doing the next layer. I'm gonna make a little smaller, every layer, you feel me? Then of course, we're on top, I gotta add another one. And now I'm gonna bake this, and hopefully, well, what I'm hoping will happen is that they will all kind of expand and just kind of form one big sticky marshmallow tower that I can just place on top of my cupcake, you know what I'm saying? So let's put this into the oven. I'm gonna keep a really close eye on it with y'all. I'm gonna take y'all with me, because I don't know when exactly this will be done. So let's go put this in. Okay, there, in the oven. I made sure to take off the um, top rack just in case if they expand because that would not be good So I'm just gonna close them in I'll turn on low light. We can watch them together. Oh my god I'm nervous. I see a little bit of darkening happening on the very top one Y'all see that like a tiny bit. I hope they expand a little bit. Come on. Give me that thick marshmallow Okay, they're expanding a little bit. I see the top <laughs> Okay, what do you guys think? Do you think they're done? Oh my god, they oh, it's all toasty on top. It's so pretty. I think they are done. Oh my god, y'all. They toasted perfectly. Now, they did kind of separate. Like, they kind of, like, tried to flatten out. I'm gonna try to, like, push them together a little bit before they're cooled down. Yay! I'm just gonna pop this onto a plate. Just like that. And I'm going to put it into the fridge just to let everything completely cool and completely set and turn back into marshmallow form, but all stuck together. <laughs> okay, y'all, so my marshmallows are back in marshmallow form. They're, like, really hard. My cake is done, and I have already scooped out the center because I'm gonna fill it. I'm filling it with marshmallow fluff. I mean, what else would I fill a giant marshmallow cupcake with? Hello? I'm just gonna literally just stuff it. Get in there! By the way, it's so sad, the edges of my cupcake got super brown, so it's not gonna be that pretty. But whatever! I'm just gonna spread this even like a little bit around the surface. Just help the marshmallow top stick to it. Perfect. It's time to put the top onto our marshmallow cupcake. It looks perfect. It's just like a big blob of pink melted marshmallows. I hope it comes off of the parchment paper. I think it will. <gasps> okay, kind of. Um, it's kind of sticking a little bit. I'm kind of scared. I thought that nothing stuck to Parchmala. And I sprayed it with Pamela. What is happening? Oh my god. Please come off. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. Come on. Oh, I got it. You guys, I got my giant marshmallow top off. <laughs> so I'm just putting it on top, just kind of squishing it around the sides, making it look like it's kind of melted on. And it's done, y'all! 
let me show you guys a better angle. Yes, it looks so beautiful. Besides the burnt cupcake, <laughs> it looks so good. If you didn't notice, I added a couple of those pink marshmallows on top too, just to make it look a little bit pretty and more extravagant. Slamy marshmallows. Okay, it's time to taste it. I'm so excited. Y'all, I feel horrible. Like, I feel disgusting. I have it here. Oh my god, it's huge. I'm gonna kind of like a slice somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. I have the perfect slice right here. Look at that. It's iconic. The blue inside is so pretty. I wish it showed more on the outside. Oh my god, let's taste this. Oh my god. I need this. <laughs> I need this energy, y'all. Mm. It was worth it. Feeling like this and cooking was worth it. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched the whole thing, you're a true tomato. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, why are those marshmallows pink? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo. <coughs> okay. <laughs>